Hi, and this is what I did this week as a stage manager for Them. I started off the week by attending the rehearsals on the Monday. This is where I saw the finished transition between scene 3 and scene 4, as it is a very intricate transition using phone wires to create the sense of being trapped. I recorded this so that I could upload it and share it with the rest of my production team. This means that they can see the final transition and start thinking about how they could possibly like this transition. It would also allow everyone to access the video footage that they required. This means that less production team members are required to go to rehearsals, keeping with COVID-19 guidelines as less bubbles will be mixing. While at rehearsals I had a meeting with the director as due to the clashing in schedules we didn't have one previous week. There are a lot of things to discuss and a lot of updates for me to update the director on as this is our first meeting since finding out the venue change. This means that they were discussing some very important points in this meeting. This includes the change in the height of the steel deck as I need to make sure that they would still match the director's vision as now they are being raised back to 7 foot. I then arranged a meeting with the director and the rest of the production team as the director had particular questions for each department and this was important that there is an opportunity to discuss this with the relevant people. Due to the director wanting to bring up specific points in the meeting, I sat with her and created the meeting agenda while I was at rehearsals with her. This is then she could input all of the points that she needed to bring up in the meeting on Thursday. Due to COVID-19, this meeting was socially distanced and we wore masks through the whole thing. Also, this week I had two meetings with the other stage managers as we needed to create the new production schedule due to the change in venue and an additional week. Therefore, the dates of the shows have changed. This is very important as we all needed to agree on the dates and timings of the shows so that each production would have the same amount of time to take their shows and making sure the schedule was basically the same for all shows. This is important as it makes it less confusing and it will also mean that every show will have an equal amount of time to tech, causing no conflicts between the lighting designers of the different shows. We also decided to change the order of the shows at looking at the current positions of where the productions are in their process. The set designer for Plow and Stars was the only set that wasn't affected by the change in venue, meaning that they were the only set that was under construction already. This then is when we decided that they should be the first production as they are the only production to have different steel decks so this would work. We decided to put Fenix on second as it was had more set and props than Young Marks and this would mean that it's easier to take away a needed set and props from the Young Mark stage rather than adding them in, meaning that Young Mark was going to be the last show. However, checking this order with the production manager, he had made a decision to check, create the order that the shows were going to be in himself. The order that the, he told the stage management team the productions must go in follows Fen, Young Marks, then Plough and Stars. This meant that we needed a second meeting to rearrange the schedule to fit or the order that he'd put in place. Luckily, there wasn't much to change as we'd already changed it from the shows from our original schedule. Many of the things could stay in the same place and we had had the meeting the night before so we already knew what was going on. We just needed to change what shows were on what week. Overall, by the Wednesday, we had a fully finished production schedule that had been emailed off to the production manager for him to sign off. He signed it off so we shared it with the directors and the rest of the production team. I then had a discussion with my production team, mainly sound and lighting, as after attending rehearsals, I realised that some of the scenes both casts have written their own scripts, and therefore both versions of this scene are very different, as well as the cast using different songs during each production. I sat with the technical team and went through what script uses what songs and what casts are being used for each. This is really important as they need to know the changes between the scripts in case the lighting cues need to be changed between the two performances. This is when the LX designers decided to split up and instead of doing half a show each, they would both take one performance. This would then make it easier for them as they could have separate show files and I would know who was working on what show. Cast A being Josh and Cast B being Ben. This let me, makes it less confusing and we, they wouldn't need to change their lighting cues between the shows. I then sourced all of the props that could be purchased off Amazon. I did this by finding the cheapest and most cost effective props and had a meeting with the production manager so that this could be sent off to finance making sure that it was stayed within budget for the props and the entire show. Making sure that the props that I was going to purchase, I realised that a lot of them the coal company might already own. So I decided to not buy everything and create a borrow list so that I could see if anyone in the company could provide certain props. This means that I'm saving money, therefore making sure I'm staying under budget. 
which is really important. I was then constantly updating my final budget sheet after every prop was purchased. I then worked with costumes due to timing we needed to source all of the costumes on the Wednesday before 1.30pm. This meant that I had to help with the costume designer source where we were really restricted for time. If I didn't help it wouldn't have been completed in time meaning we wouldn't have been able to source everything that was needed, giving the, not giving the costumes enough time to be able to arrive. I made sure that once the costumes had been ordered to update my budget sheet so that I could see if we were under budget for that department and making sure that everything was ordered to keep us within the set budget of our final production manager. This week we managed to have a whole production team meeting with the director, but due to scheduling we had to make sure it was very quick. However, due to me and the director having a meeting earlier on that week, there wasn't much to go over and creating the meeting agenda, making sure that we were going to stay on track throughout the whole me meeting due to the lack of time. We mainly discussed the changes through within each department due to the venue change, as this was our first whole production meeting since finding out that we were no longer having the production at the old rep. This made sure that it would still fit her vision. This is really important as we need to make sure that we are constantly meeting the director's vision. Overall, the meeting was very successful and we were able to discuss everything that was needed to be discussed. Throughout the whole meeting, COVID-19 restrictions were made and we made sure to maintain social distancing. The final thing I did this week was add some props to my props cage as I, they had some props from the rehearsals and I needed to make sure that I'd added these into the props cage to make sure that all the props were in the same place and this means that I could lock away any weapons props as due to laws these need to be locked away until they're needed in the scene. So making sure that these are constantly safe is one of my main priorities and that is what I did this week as a stage manager for Fenn.